Can I do this and I'm almost 50 years old? Hello gorgeous girl, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Tracy. I put out brand new wellness, lifestyle, and really pro-aging content here on this channel. So if this is something that you would be interested in, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up so that I know that you're interested in content like this. So. I am now 49 years old. I cannot believe that. It still seems weird for me to say that. And I'm turning 50 in about six months. So I'm really excited about that. I think age is really a gift and something we should be proud of. And let's be honest, sometimes it's really confusing, especially as we get a little bit older, like can you still do some of the things or wear some of the things or use some of the products that you used to use back in the day that definitely as we get older, they start coming around and around again. I don't know about you, but I've already seen like two cycles of style come back and then back again. So today I wanted to really break it down for you so that you know what is appropriate and what mm, you might want to tweak or pass on. Now, before we dive into this, of course, do what works for you. If there's one thing that I could really impart with my content is that I want you to do you. What works for you might not work for me. And if you love wearing something and you have wild style, you should do that. You know, I think of people like Betsy Johnson and Iris Apfel who have really wild, really bold style, which, you know, on paper people would say like, no girl, you can't do that. Of course, do what works for you. Create a signature style, have a signature look, but these are just some of the things that if you've been questioning it or you're just not sure, I'm gonna tell you if it's a yay or a nay and how to tweak it a little so it works for us now. And definitely make sure you stay to the end of this video because the last one is one that is gonna be a little bit controversial, but I'm telling you there is a way that you can do this at 50, 60, 70 or any age. So let's start off with jeans. You know, everybody probably has a pair of jeans in their closet, but here's the thing. Your jean style might be aging you. So if you're wearing those sort of baggy, shapeless jeans that also still have stretch in them, it's a really weird look. I'm not talking about a wide leg or, or more like a trouser cut jean. That's really current, that's really now, and I think it's absolutely age appropriate. I'm talking about those like, don't look at me jeans, where it's like you just bought a pair, they were in your size, there's nothing special about them. We want to avoid wearing those. But I know a question that comes up a lot is, can I wear ripped denim if I'm over 40? Now, I'm going to just tell you my opinion here. I actually hate ripped jeans. I think it looks sloppy. I think it looks careless. I think it's weird that we would spend, you know, up to like $200, $250 on a pair of jeans that have rips all over them. It's not a look that I like. I think it looks kind of juvenile and a little bit, a little bit try hard if I'm being honest. Now, it's not even an age thing. This is if you're 25 or 30 years old, I would say the same thing. I don't like the look of ripped jeans, but, Here's something that happens with age, one of the beautiful things that can happen to us, which is our skin gets a little bit saggier. It's just not as tight on any part of our body. And if you've got ripped jeans on your thighs or your knees, that skin poking out, it might not look very attractive, especially if it's a little bit looser, which happens to all of us. So. I think ripped jeans are a no-go for those of us over 40, but one thing that I do think, I do think sometimes a frayed hem at the bottom can look very chic. I have several pairs of the Zara, I think they're called the Marine Denim. I can leave them linked down below. Um, I have two pairs of those in white and one pair in pink, believe it or not, which I have actually love. It's kind of like a rose colored pink. And the bottom of those are frayed. And I think it looks really chic. I have another pair of jeans from H&M that I've had for years. Again, if you like it, buy it in multiples. And the bottoms of them are a little bit stringy and frayed. It's not overdone, but there's no rips in the in the thighs or the knees or anything like that. So I think that that does lend itself to a little bit more casual look. And it just, to me, it just looks like, oh, I just kind of threw these on even though you totally thought about your outfit. So I would forego the rips in the knees and the thighs if you've got stuff like that. But 
if there's like a little bit of a fraying at the bottom, I think that's actually quite chic and a little bit more casual chic. Next up, let's get into short dresses or mini skirts. Can we wear them over 40? This for me is a big yes, within reason. So let me break it down for you. I historically have never loved my legs. I know it's sort of weird, but growing up as a dancer, I always had kind of larger, more muscular thighs and I'm only five foot two. I'm really five one and a half, it will give me the half inch. Um, and I just always felt really self-conscious about my legs. So I never, even when I was like 20 years old, I didn't wear a lot of short skirts. I felt a little bit self-conscious about my legs. But the interesting thing, as I've gotten older, I believe I've leaned out a little bit more. I've also changed the way I work out, doing a lot more Pilates and walking and more like gentle workouts. It's made my muscles appear a little bit longer and a little bit leaner, which is the look that I personally want. Um, so I, as I've gotten older, I do wear shorter skirts and shorter dresses. However, if you're self-conscious about your skin, I would say put a pair of tights or sheer hose. I know what you're thinking, sheer hose, that's like from 1980s. Sheer hose right now are having such a moment. A lot of people are wearing them in colors or just like a sheer black, and I think it looks so chic. Now we're going into the spring and summer, so you probably aren't gonna be doing that right now, but I do think that wearing a sheer hose, especially if you're a little bit self-conscious about your legs, it makes you just feel a little bit more covered up. I have to say, since living in Miami, that's one of the things that I miss the most because when I lived in New York, I would wear super, super short skirts, but if I had like black opaque tights, I was like, I'm good. And now if I was living in New York, it'd be sheer black tights, like I'm totally good. That's not the lifestyle and the climate here, but you can absolutely wear shorter skirts. Now, of course, if you've got fabulous legs, girl, wear the short skirts, wear the short dresses. You know, I have a friend who is probably a good 10 years older than me and she has literally the best legs. And I'm like, you know what? If I had your legs, I would be wearing shorts all the time too. I would show off those legs because that's such a beautiful feature on your body. So it's not about your age, it's about really your comfort level. Another thing that I like to do just because, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, you know, since becoming a mom, I have a four-year-old daughter, I, think a little bit more about like what am I wearing just especially if I'm gonna see other moms or people at her school and you know Miami even though it's a city it's kind of a small town you always run into people when you go out so if I'm wearing like a short skirt unless I'm like going to like a you know kind of restaurant or something where you know in Miami we like to go all out we like to dress up here I probably will wear something like a longer blazer so I just have that element of being a little bit more covered up so you want it to be sort of like girl math <laughs> if you're wearing something shorter, especially at our age. If you're wearing something really short, I would say, you know, bring like a wrap or something, or maybe if it's a short skirt, wear uh, an Oxford shirt or something. Roll up the sleeves to keep it casual, you know, pop that collar. But there's a way to kind of do the math of the outfit so that it looks more age appropriate for you. And again, if you've got fantastic legs, go for it, wear them. So here's another hot tip for you. As someone who is really pale, I will either self tan or use some of that body makeup on my legs. Sally Hansen has one that's super, super inexpensive and there are other brands as well. I'll leave a couple down below, but those really help me with my confidence level. If I'm wearing even something with a slit so that, you know, if you've got pale legs or veins or just, you know, whatever you've got going on, it kind of smooths you out and gives you a more even appearance. So I say short skirts, short dresses. If you love your legs, go for it. If you don't, maybe try tights or a sheer hose or at least use some of that like coverage so that you just feel a little bit more put together. Remember the girl math. If, you, if you're showing a lot of leg, we probably wanna be a little bit more conservative on top by like throwing a jacket on, even if it's just like kind of thrown over your shoulders. I just feel like it just sheiks up your look. You don't wanna wear like a short, short skirt and a crop top. Not a good look for us at this point. Now we're almost halfway through this video and I wanted to give you an invitation to get my free cheat sheet. You know, I've been a personal trainer and Pilates instructor for over 25 years now. And in my experience, there are five mistakes that most women make when it comes to getting fit, especially over 40. And the worst part is they don't even know that they're making them. So go ahead and click on the link up here or down below in the description box, grab my free ultimate cheat sheet now and you'll never make those mistakes again. 
So one of you asked me this on one of my more recent videos, and that was how to make yourself look 10 years younger with makeup. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure to check that out next. After this video, I know that you'll absolutely love it. And it really, really was a very popular video. So thank you for all of your comments. But someone asked me about it. What are your thoughts on red lips? She said, you know, I'm in my 50s. What do you think? Now, I do think that red lips can potentially aid you unless you're doing it the right way. So here are my hot tips on how to do a, a red lip, especially if you're over 40 or in your 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s. Number one is we wanna make sure that you're not getting any bleeding. You know, unfortunately we do get fine lines around our lips. So I would definitely say use a lip liner. Even if you're using a more flesh colored liner, I just find that especially with age, it helps to keep things in place. Think of it like the glue, right? It just kind of keeps everything where it's supposed to be. Then I would say find a red that really works with your skin tone. Now, everybody's gonna have different tones, so either you know, oh, every time I wear this, I get compliments, or go into a department store or ask your friends, hey, what do you think about this? Try on some colors that work for you. Now, I do think that a very thick, opaque application of a red lip can, depending on your lips, age you a little bit. You know, it kind of looks like that old, kind of like 1950s style. Yes, it's a classic look, but it can be a little bit aging. So what I would say is a couple things. Make sure that you exfoliate your lips, that you use like a lip scrub or even just like a, a kind of a rougher towel on your lips. Moisturize your lips. You add your lip liner and then put on a color that works amazing for you. I would put the application a little bit sheerer first if you're concerned about it. Now, I do like to use like a thick, opaque, red lip sometimes because it's just really, you know, such a pop of color. And I think that I, I just really like my lips. So I like to highlight them sometimes. When I do that though, I really am mindful about the rest of the makeup on my face, making sure it's pretty light. It's natural that like my skin is very glowy. So it gives me a little bit more contemporary, a little bit more youthful look as opposed to like, you know, grandma with her red lips. Again, I I think that's a chic look. I mean, my goal in life is to be a chic grandma, right? Gosh, I, I hope that I am I'm so blessed to be, you know, in my 80s and my 90s and, you know, wearing whatever I want and doing whatever I want, right? But I think it's really important to just kind of, again, do that math. Like if you're doing like a really pronounced lip, you want the rest of your makeup to be fresh, to be light, to be glowy so that you've got like highlights and just, you know, a little bit fresher, if we say. So yes, you absolutely can do a red lip at this point when you follow those guidelines. Now, if you're interested, I would absolutely do a whole video about this. Um, you really loved my non-expert makeup application video that I did recently. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do one of like a night out red lip or even like a daytime red lip. Maybe we'll do both. So just let me know in the comments comments down below. Okay, the next one is can you wear sort of what I like to call cutesy patterns. I'm talking about, you know, when the summer weather comes in, it's spring and summer, there's a lot of those a little bit more juvenile looking like little flower dresses that come in and sundresses with little flowers on them. I'm not talking like big prints, but those like more little kind of prints. And I really equate those, especially at my age at 49, to like kind of a 90s look. It reminds me of stuff I used to wear when I was in my 20s. And while I love that look, is that something that you can wear now? And the answer to that is, well, it depends, right? It depends on the print, and what I would say more than anything, it depends on the cut of the dress, you know? Um, I have, I love prints. I love prints. If you look in my closet, you'll see that I have loads and loads of prints and flowers. It's just something that I like. It just, I feel like it just shows my personality. I, I love color, I love print, I love all those things. Of course, I'm saying that today wearing a black shirt, but I digress. Um, but I do love prints. And so I do think that those little flowers, they do look a little bit more juvenile, but if you get a cut of a dress that's a little bit more mature, a little bit less juvenile, you can do it. So for instance, I have a dress from Forever 21, yep, <laughs> at almost 50. Um, I got it actually about two years ago. So even if you do shop, which I you know, sometimes do like at fast fashion places, you can get things that if you take good care of your clothes, they're gonna last. Um, and this dress, it has like a, it's a black dress and it's very like a slip sort of shape, but it does have a more what I would consider juvenile sort of pattern of these like little flowers on it. But because of the shape of the dress is very much like 
a woman, a grown up, it really works. Now I have another dress that has kind of a little puff sleeve and it's short and it's super cute, but every time I wear it, I just felt like, this doesn't seem like me. I feel like I'm trying to look younger than I really am and it just seems a little like not right, like I'm trying to dress like my daughter. If you're wearing something with a cutesier print, again, the guideline here I would say is just check out the proportions of it. If it's a cutesy print with a cutesy cut, it's probably a little too cutesy for you. So we don't want to look like we're in costume or we're trying to be like in our 20s or anything like that. We want to just own where we are right now. And again, we're always just trying to look and feel our best right now. All right, we're going to get into it. We are going to get into it. Crop tops. Can you wear a crop top if you're over 40 or almost 50 or in your 60s? And my answer to this is yes, absolutely. If you feel confident in it. Now, would I at, you know, 49 years old wear a crop top and a pair of low rise jeans? Absolutely not. <laughs> Would I wear a crop top and a mini skirt? No way. But I have a lot of high waist pants and so if I wear high waist pants, I will wear a crop top. It's not that I don't have abs or like my abs, I absolutely do, but with aging, and especially, you know, I've had a child, there is some stretchier skin around that. And the only way I can really get rid of that is with surgery. You can feel that I've got abs, you know, all of that. So again, we have to work with what we've got. And that is such an important tip here. But if you feel fit, you feel strong, if you've been following along with me for a long time, I bet you do feel really fit and strong, right? So I absolutely think that you can wear a crop top at any age. Again, it's just that math. Are you doing your outfit math? Do you have a high waist pant with a crop top? You know, how do you feel when you sit down? How do you feel when you move? Are the proportions appropriate for you? You know, I have one crop top that I bought actually at Target, so random. It's actually an active wear crop top, um, but I wear it often like if I'm just doing a school pickup and it's like I have a high waist pair of jeans and what it does, it's not even really cropped. The length is cropped, but with a high waist jean, they just kind of rest on each other. Sometimes if I move, you know, you get a little bit of skin there, but I feel completely comfortable and confident in it. I also have a great set that I bought last summer. I got it at Abercrombie and it was like a cropped very like poofy sleeve black outfit that had a skirt and a crop top and at first I was like is this gonna be too juvenile but when I put it on I was like no I feel great in it because again the skirt comes up so it really depends on you it depends on your body you know and it depends on your math of your outfit but absolutely you can do that so my big hope for you today that you're taking away from this video from our time together is that you can wear whatever you feel you're most confident and you're most beautiful in. There really are no hard and fast rules. There are suggestions that can be made to make it a little bit easier. That's that outfit math. But if you follow those suggestions and you feel great in it, or you wanna break the rules and really just be a groundbreaker and do your own thing, you absolutely can do that. You know, my mission on this channel is that every woman of any age and any stage of life knows that she is worth worthy of being seen, she is worthy of being heard, and she is worthy of being the best version of herself, and you can always count on me to help. So again, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you consider doing so. It's completely free to do so. Just click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video that goes live. And if you like this video and you want to keep hanging out with me, check out this video next to learn exactly what I do for my fitness routine to stay fit, to stay healthy, and to really look and feel my best at almost 50. I'll see you over there.